today from Ford Field in Detroit. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. The Detroit Lions taking on the Seattle Seahawks. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Seattle Seahawks and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, it's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. They'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Off play action. Fernandez. Nine time to his left. He'll run it. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the bootleg, Fernandez. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Off the play fake. Fernandez being chased out left. Now he's going to let it. It's caught at the 10. And they will finally catch him, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure's good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Off the bootleg, Fernandez. is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner orders. I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. The numbers on the ground for Jones last week. 17 carries, 67 yards, and a touchdown. Well, this is where it becomes a challenge for the offensive coordinator. He's got a bell cow at tailback right now. Number three in the league in rushing with a shot distance of the, of the lead. But 
the same time, if the passing game is open, he's got to take advantage of that, too. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll try and run for the Jones. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you'll have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And they'll try the jet sweep here. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Oh, oh. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Third down and nine. From the gun, Davenport. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. <laughs> Throwing after the interception. Davenport, throwing the end right incomplete, it's Trevino, and they work this well on the field across the 45, and a nice gain of 21 yards, 46-yard line. Now a first down carry by Jones, and he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Operating from the gun. Davenport. The counter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. This is Jones. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 on the Seahawks' 42-yard line. To throw on second down. Davenport toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. To throw on third down. Davenport. that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? Yeah, I 
Now, I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football, and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And to give this time to the tailback, he'll have a first down past the 40. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. This one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. That one good for 26 and a first down. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive and until that run. There was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We and he is in for the Seattle touchdown. To number 88. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. The defense is doing their best, but they're struggling right now. They'll look for some help from their own offense to keep them in the game. And his kick is right through. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun. Davenport. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. The Lions on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seventh. Oh, and no complete. That's Terry. And he's going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Operating from the gun. Davenport firing quickly here, and that's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. From the gun, on third down. Davenport, the passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Rolling 
to his left. Now he'll turn and throw deep back to the other side of the field. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. Maybe worse than the loss of yardage, they also lose the down. So now it's third and long. Off play action. Fernandez steps away to his left. Now he'll throw deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and the Lions will take over. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit, maybe featuring other people touching it for a while, and then you get a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. There's still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. Pass dumped off to his running back. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Davenport. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Terry. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Operating from the gun, Davenport. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. At the 16-yard line. Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That's a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Davenport. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Saunders. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Now a timeout. A gain of nine. Seven seconds left in the first half. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. From the gun, Davenport. And the double team, and it's intercepted. Let it run, and it's picked. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So well, yet yeah, they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital where you see the final score there. We'll stay in the NFC North as we head over to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home in U.S. Bank Stadium. And you can see they trail in that matchup against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Sam Darnold has a couple of touchdown passes. Lastly, we head to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough to check on the Patriots. And they've gone to the half in a tight one, 21 all, is a score. 
Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Lions take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And following the pick six, and then decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. They told him, they told us, they've got confidence, and that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. On first down, Davenport over the middle complete. It's Saunders, and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. A gain of nine brings up second and one. On second down, it's Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. A very costly holding penalty. It backs him up all the way inside their 10 to start this drive. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. He's going to have the first down past the 20. Finally taken down at the 32-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. One-yard gain brings up second and nine. Off the play fake, Fernandez eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. Now he'll let it go deep right, and this is taken in at the five. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Hey, man, let's play our game. Oh, they hate that. Wipes out the big play. And I know this is the NFL, so they would probably fine you for this type of a penalty. But when I was in college, you used to have to do up-downs for the number of yards that you cost a team in a big play. And now there's a deep shot that's complete. And he's able to get it all the way down to the 20. It's a big play on third down for the Seahawks. 52 yards. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Complete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit. To throw again. Fernandez. I think that was good strategy there. Trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it. And they got there to break that one up. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. Take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. 
From the left hash, this from 37. And Myers able to knock it through. And that stretches this lead even further. It's now 24 to nothing. Lions, nothing. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 25-yard line. So here come the Lions now. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. Here's an inside give. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Operating for the goal. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Third down and one. From the gun, Davenport. And he comes back with one complete. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and ten. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Throwing on first down, Davenport. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First 10 more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Operating from the gun. Davenport. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Third down. They'll go again to Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead him to fourth down. Here we go on fourth down. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the gun, Davenport. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a, it's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make it a second down. At the six-yard line. Off play action, Davenport to the end zone, but it's incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate it was just incomplete and not intercepted. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage? Do you do it with pressure? They look to go with pressure. 
pressure. And it was the right call. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high. Because mentally, you're saying, hey, you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. He's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Operating from the gun. Davenport. At this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And that one is incomplete. And now we're inside of 10 seconds. Just nine remain. Forced out to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, you got there before. And give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Touchdown. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember... This is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Myers connects on the PAT, and that will extend this big lead.
Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. So the victory here for Seattle. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step impressive victory so for the Seahawks it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 and now on the young season and they'll return home next week to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars meanwhile for Detroit they'll fall to one and two and they'll try to make amends next week as they host the Cleveland Browns that'll do it for us I'm Brandon Gordon a lot